跟跟普通显示器最大的区别就是，它能非常的就是方便嘛，很方便，能任何角度，只要你想要的位置，它都可以打包，都可以打包，而且它下面是没有支支架的，是浮空的，所以连键盘也不怕有些选手就是键盘嘛比较前面一点，不会割到，你可以就是。可以放在很前面，你也可以放在很后面，显示器也可以就搭到你理想的位置，任任何位置上。大概花了五分钟吧，大概。那之前你都大概花多长时间？可能一倍的时间吧，十分钟吧。呃，到目前为止，我比赛里面还是停留的，还没有出现有卡顿啊或者掉 FPS 啊这种情况。The adjustable monitor, which all players need, like you can adjust easily which position you like. For me, it's just a little bit behind the mousepad like this. And then uh, also the most another impression for me is the UI setting, which you can set it easily or monitor setting. Like for example, in my setting, I I use contrast 30 and then brightness 30. Like other setting, for me the most important is the sharpness. I use eight, and then black equalizer three. After that, you can easily save save in here. Press save, and then every time you play, I don't need to setting it one more. It already set in the morning. Uh, so uh, every time I play to the tournament, uh, the organizer gives me SSD to set up my config. Uh, but the monitor is not. Included when I play in the match day, when I put my SSD, I need to reset in the monitor because the monitor is cannot save in the SSD. But with this uh, feature from Zoe, which is really helpful, when I set up my config, it's also save the monitor setting. So when I play in the match day, I don't need to reset in the monitor. It's already my setting.